Hey, I'm Jerry Williamson with Bishop's Flowers. You know, people are always asking me, they say, Jerry, how do you make your flower arrangements look so unique over at Bishop's Flowers? Well, what I've decided to do is beginning this week, I'm going to start creating some videos just for you, the people who are our friends on Facebook and the people that are on our blog, on our website, and we're going to show you exactly how we make some of these arrangements look so unique and so garden looking. Now one of the first things you want to do is, is be able to use the different types of foliages that you have grown in your own yard. Right now it's beautiful, it's summertime, everything is, is full bloom as far as foliage is concerned. You've got a ton of different variety of foliages out there and what I want you to do is just look around in your yard and see what's available. Now I know in my own yard everything I've planted here was planted with the intentions of being able to use them down at the flower shop at Bishop's. We have things like euphoria Iliagnus bushes. I have forsythia bushes. I also have a magnolia tree, which is just wonderful, particularly at Christmas time. I love to use some of the leaves off the magnolia tree. Another thing that I really love using is the mock orange bush. Now, it's going to bloom a beautiful white bloom in the springtime, and that's usually when I use that foliages in the springtime when it's full of white delicate blooms. Another thing we have is English ivy. Now you want to make sure that you get you some English ivy going in your yard because that's used for all different types of arrangements and it gives you just a great type of texture to put into your arrangement. And then another thing I love using is curly willow. I've got my own curly willow tree planted in my yard. I'm going to show you how to do that later on in a different video. But just using curly willow gives a lot of good texture to your arrangement and a lot of lines for you to use to really get your arrangement started and looking very unique and creative. You don't want to forget about crepe myrtle bushes and rows of Sharon bushes. So all of these things I have in my yard and wild honeysuckle. You're going to start seeing me do a lot of work with wild honeysuckle here soon and I'm going to show you how I do that and show you where to find it. So just look around your yard, see what's out there and what's available. The real trick is just go out to your yard Find one of your bushes, break off a piece of the foliage, drop it into some water. If after a couple of days this is still standing straight up, that means it's drinking the water properly and it's hydrating the, the foliage. So you can use it in your arrangements. Now if for some reason after a day this is drooped over, then that is not drinking water well and it's not something you want to use in your flower arrangements. So you just kind of toss that idea to the side and go look for something else. But get out in your yard, start looking around and see what you already have available. If you have some other ideas, we'd love for you to put them here on our Facebook page and share them with all of our fans. And any questions you have, make sure you ask that because we love answering your questions for you. I'll see you next week with another great video tip for you.